Hey everyone, Shannon Somerville and Tyler Weeman here from LineStar here with a helpful little tutorial on one of the best features of LineStar and that's the ownership mm -hmm. and it can really help you in daily fantasy. So Tyler's here to kind of break down what that means and how you can use it to your advantage in daily fantasy. Mm -hmm. uh, LineStar app is here to help you. We're here to show you how and it is also available right now at the price of $19.99 that will go up for football season to $29.99. You will not find this best deal in price, DFS. the best deal in DFS. Yeah. All that information just for the price of $20 a month. It's yeah. Good. And we just recently redid our website. We've redone the apps. And with that, we've also changed our ownership uh, projections. The algorithm's a little different now and it's a little bit it's a little bit better and uh, coming in pretty good, as we'll see mm -hmm. here. We're going to talk a little bit, too, about why ownership is important. Right. So when we're looking at daily fantasy, of course, everybody knows, you know, it's important to do research on the players mm -hmm. and who you're actually putting on your team. But equally as important is where the rest of the field is yes. going. And so tell us a little bit about why ownership is so important in daily fantasy. And the, <clears throat> this is something that gets a little overlooked because everybody thinks the whole game is just try to make a team that scores the most points. And like, yes, if you have the perfect lineup every night, like you're going to win, but it's pretty hard to do when the feel the game is really about you versus everybody else and just outscoring the rest of the lineups. So if that's the game, Figuring out what everybody else is going to do becomes extremely important. Uh, so I have a little example for you is if you had 100 people, everybody threw in $1 yeah. for coin flips. Now, if 75% of the people, so 75 p people pick heads, there's a $100 pot. You're going to end up with like $1.33. If you get heads, correct. Mm -hmm. If it's tails, the other 25 people win $4. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being a 50-50 situation, you stand to gain way more money if you know ownership is going heads versus tails. Right. You know, and yeah. you if you continually pick tails, if that happens 100 times, you know, you're going to win a lot more money and sure. the people with heads would lose. So if it happens a hundred times, the people with heads would end up with $66 and 50 cents and the people with tails would end up with 200. So there's a big I like expected $200 value. like a lot more than I like 66. Exactly. Well, the 66 is you're losing, Yeah. you know, almost 35% off it. You're losing 33 and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very simplized kind of example of it, but it shows you, with little tweaks because of ownership, there is a large expected value by knowing the ownership. And as we can see here, we have our our ownership up. This is from yesterday, just to kind of give you a good idea as far as how our ownership stacked up with what actually happened. Now, as you can see, we had Garrett Cole and Shohei as our two highest owned pitchers. Shohei did end up the highest. He was at like 34%. That's kind of what we thought Cole was going to be. Mm -hmm. So those two flipped. But throughout the pitchers, we were pretty close to what it is. And that and that's what it, the main thing here is we want to be directionally accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I mean, we're dealing with people making decisions. So you're, we're not going to be able to predict the future right. totally. But... It, we are very close, as you can see here. Um, and now with this, I kind of felt like we could show a little bit as far as how ownership can kind of dictate some decisions you make mm -hmm. in your lineups. So if we go back to, uh, we'll go to today's slate. And I, it's not there. <laughs> All good. Uh, so I'll just kind of build a quick 20 lineups, 
you know, I, I don't really have any settings set, anything like that, but we can kind of kind of go through and just talk about it with ownership. The first lineup you can see, we have it at 168% owned and 112 projection. The next one, pretty similar, 110. But here's, you know, significantly less ownership and you're giving up four projection points. So this is one of those leverage spots where it might be interesting to take that one that has less ownership, mm -hmm. a little less projection, but it could give you, you know, the extra leverage you need. And with LineStar and that daily optimizer tool, one of the mm -hmm. things that you can cater to your own individual preferences is a lot of the ownership tools, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, there's that also what you could do is if you wanted to, we see Paul DeJong here is, you know, a highly owned player. You can easily just kind of put somebody else in there mm -hmm. on there to bring down your ownership. Say if you liked that first lineup a little bit, you could change a little piece in there to make it work better with ownership that you're looking to use. And especially with these big contests, right? You're trying to, uh, ownership becomes even more important. Yes, it, it absolutely does. The, the more lineups that are in the contest the more different you need to get and closer to perfect you need to be uh so ownership absolutely plays a key role mm -hmm. and it's it's really all about if you're playing the big uh big contest with a million dollars the first or whatnot you are gonna have to get a little bit different it's gonna be not how much like not how often you cash mm -hmm. but how much you win when you cash mm -hmm. and so using ownership to try and figure out that leverage is a very important part about being a profitable player yeah but the ownership you know so important and not just you know in baseball i know we looked at the baseball but mm -hmm. in football coming up you know yes and i i would have done this you can pretty much do the exact thing we just did right with here football. with football mm -hmm. It's so the same situation, just nine players in your starting lineup. There you go. So, but you can, we'll have ownership projections for football once mm -hmm. it's here. And you can go through the same optimizers, go through some of the questions about who to put in your lineup and see how that ownership changes, yeah. you know, the look of your lineups. And uh, if you haven't already, you can also watch our video on how to win the large contests, mm -hmm. and that's also very helpful. So ownership is an important piece of that, but then you can go into the strategy and the bankroll a little mm -hmm. bit more. Tyler goes into more detail on that. But that ownership tool that is available in LineStar and is, as you saw in the example, fairly accurate. It, it is fairly accurate, and it's just such such a large piece of kind of the puzzle is trying to know what your opponents are doing. That's the first thing that so, you look at, isn't it? In I, terms of absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I try and figure out where the majority of the field is going and then make a strategy using that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's for baseball, say that there's a Coors mm -hmm. field game like today where that game is getting so much ownership Right. Then I have a decision point. Do I just cancel that game out, act like it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. and hope it fails? Because like I said, it's how much you win when you're right. And if that situation was to play out, I would be in a very good position to then yeah. win the contest. Fading the field can be a very lucrative yes. strategy when you're talking you about. Have to, <laughs> you have to you know, go through the emotional roller coaster of losing <laughs> a little bit more than, than winning, but... Like I said, it's all about how much you win when you win. Right. So. Line Star is just a great tool for you. So be sure to check it out, linestarapp.com. As I mentioned before, that price right now is $19.99 per month. It does go up for football season to $29.99 mm -hmm. per month. Still a great deal. But we want you to save that $10 a month. So check it out, linestarapp.com. Everything you need to dominate in daily fantasy. We want you guys to win some money. So get out there. Get the Line Star app and start dominating in daily fantasy. Mm -hmm. And when you do, <laughs> make sure you're submitting to our MVP program so we can get you some merchandise. Nice. I love some merch. Yeah. Line Star merch for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. 
Um, if you have any questions, write them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Or if you have any suggestions for any future videos on what we can elaborate on, by all means, please let us know in the comments. And we're here to help you in daily fantasy, so feel free to reach out to us. That's going to do it for our video for today. Make sure to check out all of our other videos that we have coming out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a good one.